name is Ryan Fincher. I went to Sudertown High School. I'm attending Georgia Northwestern Technical College. I just hope to try to do good this week. I'm just glad I made it here. My name is Rick McNally. I went to school to SEC Lincoln in Nebraska. And I hope to learn a lot from everybody here. Uh, Blaine Hip started welding when I was a sophomore year. I saw Jacob, my brother welding, started getting in the skills and all started there. Uh, my name is Chandler Mason's my instructor. Uh, I grew up watching a couple of these guys in this room on YouTube. Alex, Joe Young, Bad Clean, all you guys and it inspired me to do this and it's what my life is now today and it's, it's my dream. Jacob Miller from uh, Westside High School, a former competitor in the 2014 trials. Hey, I'm Jeff Samer, and uh, I've been welding since about 15 years old, and I'm just happy to make it this far and happy to have the instructors I have to help me get here. Competing for the honor to represent Team USA at World Skills, the Skills USA competition offers more than just a quest for fame and glory. I mean, there's so many doors that this competition opens, you know, so many different connections that you get. This, this experience has is, uh, is given me a lot of knowledge about welding and given me the, the motivation to be able to, to try different positions and, and processes that you would never learn in, in school. I feel like personally it makes me a better welder all around. The doors are endless. I mean, any, any way we want to go after this competition, doing this competition makes that possible for us. It really helps you push yourself beyond the limits you've ever thought you could go. They can benefit an individual by showing them how good they could be at something. And at the same time, gaining you know a lot of experience in a short amount of time. Being able to, to practice and rehearse all those different processes and positions has really molded you know my skill to to be able to do just about anything. Learning all the processes and getting to know everything about welding, I think it'll help me in the future with jobs, you know, not even welding jobs, inspecting and all that. It's a career builder all day long. It's kind of a family, kind of a community that we all get involved in. We all help each other out, tell each other how we do certain things. We all kind of good friends. We all kind of feed off of one another, just kind of help each other out when we can. And that's what I think is really good about this competition. It builds a lot of character. It, uh, it makes us who we are. You know, it's something that will definitely give you that extra motivation to, to get better and, and succeed in, in whatever you want, so. We have really challenging days and uh, really challenging moments, but we all seem to pull through it and get here together. That's what it's all about. First one, Chandler. Forty-eight state champion welders began this journey to Abu Dhabi. The three best remain. To compete in the final championship round for a chance to go to world skills. We are looking for the best welder in the world. We can only pick one person, so we can't have three gold medals. We can only have one, so we have to systematically evaluate everybody and pick our one winner and train them to move on. We utilize you know, standards as a template, per se, for our criteria, but we kind of take that criteria and tweak it and fine tune it just a little bit more to really push the competitors uh, to you know, really see what they can do. So, so a cool thing about this competition is it's kind of structured to where we're all competing against ourselves. So it's not really me against these guys, it's kind of me against myself every day trying to get better and trying to get more points in every way possible. People seem to think that this competition is us versus them or me versus you as a competitor. Well, it's not. It's you versus the score system. And if you can beat the score system, that's how you win.
gold and new world skills competitor for the United States of America, Chandler Vincent.